Learn English prepositions with Jennifer. There are certain combinations or collocations with the prepositions at and to. They're very useful to know. There are collocations with nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Remember to use to when you want to express direction with intention or expectation. You expect that something will be received. You can give something to someone, lots of things. You can give advice, a compliment, give control, give a gift, give a present, or give thanks to someone. Other verbs have the same basic meaning as give. We offer something to someone and we pay attention to someone or something, which really means you're giving your attention to that person or thing. We can also show something to someone. And a verb with a similar meaning is present. We present something to someone. For example, you present an idea to someone. Tell is another verb that combines with to. You tell something to someone. You can tell a joke, a secret, a story, a lie, or the truth to someone. Similar in meaning is suggest. When you suggest something to someone, you're basically telling them what you think they should do. And relating a story to someone is just a more formal way of saying telling a story to someone. Note that with the verbs give, show, and tell, we can change the word order. If we don't need to emphasize who or what the receiver is, we can take out the preposition to and move the object of the preposition to an earlier position. So, instead of give the phone to me, give me the phone. Show a picture to you, show you a picture. Tell a story to you, tell you a story. Here are more collocations with two. Verb combinations. We can dedicate, explain, send, or teach something to someone. And we can expose someone to something. If you think carefully, you'll see all those verbs express showing, or giving, or telling. As for adjective combinations, we can be kind, nice, respectful, rude, or sweet to someone. So you're giving kindness to someone, for example, or showing them sweetness. Let's look at more collocations, collocations with the preposition at. We use this preposition to express the direction of our feelings. We could see this as the cause of our feelings. For example, what caused you to be mad? I'm mad at you. But I also think it's helpful to view this preposition as one that helps us express the direction of our feelings. Where are you directing? your anger. I'm mad at her. Beyond feelings, we can use at to talk about skills. I'm good at something. I'm bad at something. You can think of it as directing your efforts and your energies toward a goal, hoping that something good will result. When speaking about skill, we can be good or bad at something. We can be excellent or terrible at something. Speaking of emotions, we can be surprised at something or mad at someone. When we feel things, 
we also take action. We can laugh at something, yell at someone, or shout at someone. We're directing our feelings toward an object when we do these actions. Compare those collocations to these. Talk to someone. Express something to someone. When we talk to someone, there's this expectation that our words will be received. That's our intention. Let's also make note of the pronunciation changes. In slow, careful speech, we can pronounce prepositions with their full vowel sounds, to, at. But in everyday conversation, we usually speak faster and with relaxed pronunciation. So to sounds like t. Give this to me, give this to me, to me, to me. To me. At sounds like it. Look at me, look at me. So in everyday conversation, the prepositions are unstressed. They're reduced to have a very relaxed vowel sound. Let's try an exercise to practice some of those collocations with nouns, verbs, and adjectives. 